Hi. I'm afraid this might turn into an Anya rant again. I think yesterday I saw on a friend's uh, Facebook feed a post uh, about something and uh, she said, I'm assuming that my more awakened friends will understand this. And so I've been thinking about <laughs> Because there, there are some, I don't know, phrases that are in, I guess, in certain circles thrown around so much. And one of them is the awakening. Uh, and I'm kind of getting a little bit fed up with when certain things are get overused and... So when I was going for a walk yesterday, I was wondering, is it really necessary to be awakened? and, Or is it not just another narrative where, oh, here are the more evolved people who know what's going on, who really know what's going on behind the scenes. And over there are the stupid people who are eating... Uh, uh, chips and uh, watching TV all day or something like that. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, I think it's, 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 it's a funny one. And, and what does it mean anyway to be awakened? Uh, you look behind things, you know, what's really going on, or you have some uh, secret messages from, Santa Claus. <laughs> oh God, sorry. <laughs> I'm really getting sarcastic now. I I remember, you know, this phase, I had a phase where I was really into Buddhism and I found this beautiful Tibetan Buddhist center, which I still love because it's a beautiful place. It's built right on the cliffs in Ireland. And I used to go to the retreats and for a while took it very seriously. And, and there is a lot of beautiful things I took out of this. But I remember this idea of now having to become enlightened, you know, <laughs> and having to do this and that many uh, uh, prostrations, meditations and whatnot to, to get to that goal. And... I um and there was this hope of finally becoming this wonderful enlightened person and then there was the utter I don't know whether devastation is maybe too much but disappointment that I didn't seem to be able to get there and you know now already since a long time I don't really believe so much in this anymore or or let's say I don't think it's that important anymore because I've come to the conclusion what about being human what about um, embracing our imperfections because for me uh, which doesn't mean that we don't you know that we don't want to change things about ourselves or stuff like this but I'm uh, what I'm trying to say it's coming from this um, uh, trying to be this awakened person, trying to be this enlightened person often comes from this place of not good enough, you know, not being good enough the way we are, the way we are, not being good enough, never good enough. And I think it can really put you on this self-improvement, enlightenment, awakened thing and and where you're not doing anything else anymore but just trying to be this person that's more awakened <laughs> than others or more enlightened than others and may, maybe then finally matters but I think that's that's what's hidden behind it but I think we need to find our mattering uh, if you want to call it without being enlightened or whatnot. I, I, I don't really think it's such a healthy narrative, to be honest. It's this this ideal of something. And wouldn't we be better off if we cared more for other people and nature and whatnot and, and faced up to the problems we are facing up we are facing right now in this world 
and and just forget about uh, the whole awakening thing and just be a little bit kinder towards each other and really look get out of denial and run after a fantasy but but see what things really are and who we really are with the good and the bad and just be a little bit more embracing and like i said uh, before in in another video i i don't care whether <laughs> I don't care whether you're awakened or not. If you're an awakened asshole, then please get out of my, please get out of my, um, whatever. I don't want to meet you. I, then I rather am with an unawakened, compassionate TV looking chips eating person. <laughs> that kind of just, um, uh, you know, uh, loves me the way I am. And where I don't have to uh, be something I'm not. So I guess that was an on your And uh, what what are you making of the whole awakening thing? I Yes. And do you think it's really so important? Mm -hmm. I leave it at that. That was Anja Kerstin, life coach and artist. Take good care. Bye-bye.